So you want to learn how to play Giovanna? Well then you're in the right place because Arxis gave me early access to this game specifically to make guides for the characters. And wouldn't you know it, I've already invested hours into learning Giovanna, both in the early access and the betas that came out before the game's release. So it goes without saying that I know quite a lot about this character, so without any further ado, let's get started. So the good news is this character was made for beginners. If you're brand new to Guilty Gear, there is no better character to start off with. Case in point, the meter system. As this character builds bar, she becomes tougher to kill and also does more damage. So let's say you're brand new to fighting games and you don't want to deal with those really tricky super inputs. Well, that's completely fine because your character is going to get stronger regardless. When she has one bar of meter, everything she does is now 5% more damaging. And then when your meter is completely full, everything now does 10% more damage than it normally would. And she also glows, which is awesome. And then on top of that, she's also harder to kill. So once you have one bar of meter, her defense goes up a little bit. She takes a bit less damage. And once you have two full bars of meter, she has about the same defense as Potemkin. So this huge guy right here, yeah, she's about as tough as him as long as you have two bars. And one more reason this character is great for beginners is her frame data is just kind of awesome. No special move she has is unsafe outside of her reversal, which everybody's is, so nothing special there. But everything else she does is either safe or plus on block when it comes to special moves. So essentially, she's low risk with a high reward. You pretty much can't go wrong with this character. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's talk about how you should play this character. And I want to break this video up into two parts. For the first half, we're going to do offense, then we're going to talk about defense, and then we're going to wrap everything in a nice bow with some bread and butter combos. So without any further ado, let's talk about offense. How do you get in with this character? Well, there are several methods. One of my favorites is to dash in and just do slash. As you can see, she kicks several times, so it's a great hit confirm. You go, oh, did it hit? Yep, heavy slash and then special. And to make things even better, slash also breaks armor because it hits multiple times. So when I fight Potemkin, for example, I just dash in and do slash. And as you can see, she slides, so it's great for closing that gap. Now, of course, there is one downside to this strategy. Because she kicks so many times, if you miss, you are stuck doing the animation. The opponent can land behind you and then punish you. So it does have some risk, but for the most part, it's a great way of getting in. And of course, another great option is to approach from the sky. So in this regard, I recommend dashing and doing kick. Why? Well, because it hits on both sides and it's also very fast. So it's great for accidental cross-ups and it's going to beat out a lot of attacks your opponent goes for. In fact, one of my favorite things is to combine this with Soul Puente because this special move has a chance to actually cross up. So check this out. Boom! Three hit combo. That first kick was a cross up and then my Soul Puente hit afterwards. And if I had bar, I could Roman cancel to keep the combo going a bit longer. So that's option number two for getting in. The good old air dash. And her dust is also very good because it hits twice. So it's a double overhead. That's going to be tricky for a lot of players to block. At least for the first couple of weeks the game is out, maybe a month. It's going to be tricky, trust me. And then on top of that, because it hits twice, it is super easy to convert into your grounded combos. For anyone who's not aware, jump-ins don't have a ton of hits done in this game. So for example, I'm going to try and combo off a heavy slash. Check it out. I couldn't. I couldn't combo after it. I'm going to mash light still couldn't combo off the jumping heavy slash. They don't have that much hit stun, so normally you have to do your jump ins pretty late, otherwise you don't get the combo. But that is not the case for Giovanna's Air Dust. Once again, it hits twice, it has a ton of hit stun, so it's great for starting off combos. And even if the opponent blocks, once again, you can do Sol Puente, and look at that, now you're plus on block. Yeah, this special move is plus on block. I'm gonna go into more detail on the special moves later, but just keep in mind, Air Dust can be great for offense, whether on block or on hit. But next up, we have the most important part. Let's say the opponent it's being annoying, they're running away all the time and throwing projectiles. What do you do? How do you get in? The answer is Trovao. This special move straight up blows through projectiles. Now it has to be a single hit projectile, but even so, it's got you covered in a lot of matchups. As you can see, she went right through it. Now unfortunately, after the beta, they did make this thing quite a lot slower on startup, which did change combos a bit, but the good news is it's still great for getting in and flying past projectiles. And even if you are a bit too late and your opponent has time to block, guess what? This thing is plus one on block. So if you both jab, you're going to win. If you go for a kick, you might also get a counter hit, all that awesome stuff. And then in the best case scenario, you're gonna get a counter hit, which means combos, baby, let's go. So if the opponent loves to run away and throw projectiles, Trovao is a great way of getting in. And finally, there's one more option if you desperately want to close the gap, and that's Giovanna's Air Super. This thing is actually plus on block. So if you press a button and they press a button, you're gonna get that counter hit and get your combo started. 
started. Now of course that is a costly way of getting in, but it is plus and also does some chip damage, so it's kind of crazy how this character has a way to get in from the sky with a super while also being plus on block. You can even do it after command normals like this, so that was forward heavy slash heavy slash and then super, and once again I'm plus. If don't press any buttons Kai, you're gonna get counter hit. And then finally, as an honorable mention, we have Crouching Dust, otherwise known as Two Dust. This move has really good range, as you can see, and it combos into this special move right here. Sepultura, I think is how you pronounce that one. This character has some very fancy names for her special moves, but that one is great for ending most of your combos. And it's no different for Dust. As you can see, you can actually do it twice in a row in the same combo. Look at that, some pretty decent damage for a random low in the neutral. So if you're fighting somebody and jumping in all the time, going for overheads a lot, and they expect that, just catch him with a low into Sepultura and get your combo started that way. All right, and now comes the fun part. Let's say you've made your way in, you've landed a couple of combos, and now you have the opponent cornered. What do you do with Giovanna once you've gotten in? Like I teased a bit earlier, the answer is Sol Puente. If the opponent blocks your string, just go in with this. You're actually plus four on block when they guard against this thing, which means you can just go for a kick. Her kick has really good range. It's gonna counter hit anything they go for. So for example, if I do something like this, and the opponent presses any buttons besides an invincible attack, I am going to win and get the counter hit combo. If I got a bar, I can Roman cancel, all that awesome stuff. So when you're up close and personal in the opponent's business, you want to do whatever string you want and then end with Sol Puente. This thing is amazing. It's plus four on block. It is godlike. However, like all things, it does have a tiny weakness. There is actually a gap. So right here, as I'm going for it, they could do something invincible or even just jab me out of it with a fast attack. And if the opponent does start doing that, then you want to end your combos with Sepultura instead. And if you're a bit further away, around heavy slash distance, you can also do Travo instead. As mentioned earlier, this is plus one on block. If you jab and they go for literally anything, you will win and get the counter hit. However, do be warned because this special move does have a gap. In fact, they made the gap bigger since the beta. So if you're fighting someone who mashes buttons, then you don't want to go for special moves that have a gap. And all of that is stuff that's specific to Giovanna, but you also have the universal mix-ups as well, like standing dust. It hits overhead, so do something that hits low, like crouching kick, and then go straight into dust. If that's a low overhead, it's going to be tough for some players to block. And also, don't forget to sneak in some throws. Your plus four, walk in, go for a throw instead. If they love blocking, then make them pay for it. Go for the unblockables. Because don't forget, you can always roam and cancel a throw and just keep your combo going. Okay, and now it's time for the second half of the video, defense. So what do you do when the opponent is just punishing you? So let's say they go to air dash in, like I was saying you could do earlier. Well, you do have the trusty Ford Punch, otherwise known as 6P in the Guilty Gear community. These attacks are invulnerable to most air attacks, so pretty much every single jump in. So for example, Kai is jumping heavy. Look at that. It's got a really nice hitbox on it. This time, I'm going to Ford Punch. Look at that. I got the counter hit. I did it pretty early, too. As you can see, it's completely and vulnerable to jump-ins of that nature. And after landing that counter hit, you can of course extend with some fun combos. Here's a basic bread and butter to get you started. It still does good damage without being too complicated. And one more good anti-air is down heavy slash or two heavy slash. These are also pretty universal. A lot of characters have some decent down heavy slashes as anti-airs, but Giovanna's is especially good. As you can see, she gets really low to the ground. So once again, let's test things on Kai. Boom! As you can see, once again, a nice counter hit. Now keep in mind that this move is not in vulnerable to air attacks. It just has a good hitbox and a very low hurt box, so it avoids stuff and gets the hit, but it's not invincible. And it also knocks the opponent a lot higher into the air, so your combos after a counter hit are going to be different, so just keep that in mind. And then finally we have the good old DP, otherwise known as Sol Nascento. So this move is great for all kinds of pressure. If the opponent's bullying you and you just want to get them off, you can go for this move. It has invincibility. However, in saying that, do be warned. If the opponent blocks it, it is death for you. It is my is 15, which means they can punish you with pretty much anything and get a ton of damage. However, the good news is, if you have one bar of meter, then you can just roam and cancel on block, and then you'll be much, much safer. In fact, you can likely move in and go for a mix-up, maybe a throw or just some more pressure into plus frames, all that good stuff. And then, of course, you have the most desperate option, which is just random super. This super is completely immune to everything on startup and does a lot of damage. And then, depending on how much meter you have, it's going to hurt even more. If you have one bar, 5% 
10%, if you have two bars, that's a 10% increase on the damage. However, just like the Dragon Punch, this super is death on block, so be careful when going for this option. Is it fully invincible? Yes, 100%. But is it 100% risky? Also, yes, it is a very scary option to go for. And that's honestly about it for her defensive options, but I think they're pretty solid. She has some really decent anti-airs that lead to great combos on counter hit. She has an invincible super, an invincible DP, all that good stuff. Once again, she is made for beginners, so she has some solid defensive options. And I think with that out of the way, it's time for combos. Let me go ahead and give you some simple ones to get you started. So if you're right in the opponent's face, you want to do slash and then down heavy slash into sepultura. And then once you have the opponent launched, you want to do kick into Sepultura again, and finally a third Sepultura. As you can see, the damage is pretty nice, not too shabby, right? But let's say you're a bit further away and you want to dash into Slash. So right there, I got the far standing Slash, not the close standing Slash. And in that situation, you just want to do heavy Slash into Sepultura. Now, unfortunately, because the opponent's not airborne, you don't get any follow-ups outside of that, but it's still some decent damage. And once again, you're just dashing in YOLO with this thing. So it's a pretty good conversion. And last but not least, don't forget forget about this bad boy. Let's say you fly in and get the hit. Then you want to Roman cancel, and as you can see, it pops them into the air. And once they're airborne, you want to dash on in, slash, heavy slash, and then boom, do it again to end the combo. Some really decent damage. Or if you prefer, you can do something like this. Boom, 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 boom. So that's actually her command normal. That's just forward heavy slash three times. Now be careful, this thing is death on block, but it's great for extending combos and it's stupid easy to do. And just to make things even better, it can also break the wall in the corner. Like you can splat them and then keep the combo going. So it's just plain awesome. Look at that, the wall is breaking and boom, we've broken the wall and now we're in a different part of the map. So yeah, it's a really good tool. Just make sure to only do it during combos. Do not just do it raw in the neutral. And then speaking of combos, one really nice thing about this move right here is you can actually combo the second hit into her super. And it just looks awesome. So that's down forward, down forward, heavy slash in the air. And look at that, it breaks walls too. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. That's new after the beta. I don't think it did that before. And keep in mind, the third kick cannot be super canceled. It's got to be one, two, and then super. And honestly, that's about all you need to get started with your combos and then hop online or go into the arcade. But just for fun, here's some more combos to help get you started. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like to help me out and also share this video around. I really want Guilty Gear to be the next big fighting game. I love it so much. So when you like the video and share it with some friends and post on social media, that helps this franchise out a ton. And also, if you haven't already, I recommend you subscribe. That way you don't miss any future videos. I plan on making a lot more guys. Make sure to come back next time. And as always, stay underdogs.